Hey YouTubers, we uh, we made it up here, but there's only like two or three inches of snow, and the deepest snow we saw on the way up was maybe a foot or a foot and a half at the uh, peak uh, right before going into the valley at 15 mile horse camp. Uh, but as you can see, very picturesque up here, and very pretty. You got snowmobile, you got Yeti. Uh, Yeti is doing so much better with uh, OEM flywheel and uh, the South Bend Endurance Stage 2 clutch. Uh, the one thing that I noticed the most about it is when we were driving uh, on FS44, the snow was, you know, maybe a foot, foot and a half deep at points. Um, Drove it in fourth gear the whole way, going anywhere from 25 to 35 miles per hour. It was just fine. It wasn't bogging down. Uh, I think the heavier flywheel helps um, keep the motor rotating, even when the mat tracks are giving you a bunch of feedback from deep snow. So that's really helpful. But I just wanted to share a um, short video with you guys on this area I don't even know what this area is called uh, we're probably like a mile past 15 mile Creek is what Willow's saying but um, it's just really pretty up here and it's solitude there's nobody up here uh, once we hit the split for um, what was it the flag point lookout or eight mile lookout or something like that there's a road that splits off there was no more tire tracks so we were able to just come up here without uh anybody else being up here but yeah so much fun i'm gonna do a little walk around video here for you guys just wanted to do a little walk around for you guys i get a lot of questions uh on youtube sometimes i don't have a whole lot of time to answer stuff i have to manage my time um pretty well but um just want to do a little walk around She's she's running really good, uh, no problems whatsoever coming up. Wasn't really much of a challenge for her. Her motor wasn't bogging down or anything in the deeper snow, so that's good. Let's show you guys the mat track setup. Uh, yes, they bolt on like wheels. Takes me about an hour and a half to put them on. Uh, average, uh, although this last time I put them on, it took me about 45 minutes. And then there's a. Uh, uh, torsion bar or an anti uh, turnover bar on each mat track uh, and there's a inside the square tube there's like rubber bushings that help the track articulate over uh, obstacles and whatnot I'm eventually going to upgrade to a higher level of uh, mat tracks but for right now these are doing fantastic and you can see they throw quite a bit of snow up in the wheel well and create quite a bit of snow pack and add some weight while you're driving around. Uh, what else can I show you? I guess the rear here is kind of different from any other Baja. I have a rear mounted winch and a uh, secondary battery for emergency. There's a switch in a car uh, connected to a battery isolator that helps uh, you know, you could you can turn it on or off. If for some reason something gets left on in the car, uh, this battery will stay fully charged because it's not connected to the other battery when the car's off. So yeah, you kind of get a glimpse here of the undercarriage. Um, the lowest point on the vehicle is the rear diff, it just hangs down. It's even lower than the lower control arms. And uh, it sits about 17 inches uh, to the ground at the lower diff. So, anyhow, I thought I'd make a short little video for you guys. You can see that we're up here at 15 Mile Creek, I guess is what Willow says it is. But it's really pretty. It was totally worth the drive. Uh, unloading the trailer and driving up here took us maybe an hour and a half. Not too bad. So yeah, we need more snow. Catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.